Hello, dear friends. Thank you for tuning in on me again for another word from the Bible. A short message that I want to speak on to, to you on some ways to, for answered prayer. Some ways for answered prayer. We love to pray and we love to feel like our prayers are heard and answered. And the Bible teaches of some, some cardinal things that we need to know about answered prayer. Oh God, may the Lord bless this message to your hearts all over the world, wherever it goes. I want to speak to you on the fact that God cares for you that believe in Jesus. He loves you very much. He loves you so much that he wants to give you what you need and even what you desire. And so he, he wants you to pray to him and talk to him. He's a great God. Over in the book of 1 uh, first, uh, first John in the, in the third chapter, it says this word. And we know that whatever we ask, we receive of him if we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And we know that he, whatever we ask, we receive of him if we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And so it's important to know that uh, we, we need to know that, that God wants to bless and answer our prayers, but they need to come from Him. They need to be prayers or requests that will please Him. And so when you pray, it's a good thing to keep in mind, does this please God? Is this what He wants as well as what I want? And then He says, this is His commandment, that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and love one another. <clears throat> now this is a great commandment that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and love one another. And he says in the word, whatever we ask, we receive of him when we keep his commandments. And this is his commandment that we, that we believe in Jesus Christ and love one another. So I believe we're talking to people right now that you believe in Jesus and you're seeking to love each other because you know this is the word of God and it's the truth of the Lord. And God will bless you as you apply it to your daily life. And he will help you to know that he will answer your prayers. Over again in the book of uh, Jeremiah, we find a good word in verse. Oh, this is in Psalm 91. Psalm 91, it says, and uh, I'll read these words to you. Uh, and he shall call upon me, and I will answer him and deliver him. Maybe you, you need deliverance right now. You're facing something that seems to, to have hold, held you down and you can't quite get rid of it and you can't get up and you can't face the day as you should. Then you need to know this. Call upon me. I will answer. Because he has set his love upon me, I will honor him and I will answer him in time of trouble. He shall call upon me and I will deliver him. So you need to pray for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Humble yourself before your God and pray for deliverance. And he said, I will deliver you, honor you, and I will satisfy him with a long life and salvation. And so it's important that we need to learn to call on God in time of trouble. Maybe you are right now facing a troublous time in your life. Call on the God that loves you. Call on him and ask him to help you. Ask him to show you now the way. Read your word, the Bible. Seek to obey his word and commandment as you can. Try to love him with all your heart. And oh, seek, seek always to keep those commandments that are good, that believe in Jesus and know that he's there. And so it's important. We read another good word, and this one is over in the book of, uh, of, uh, uh, of Jeremiah, in the 33rd chapter, verse 3. And it says, Call upon me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Now here's a promise where the Lord says, You call on me, and I will answer you, and I'll show you great things. Oh, praise God. Call upon him, and he will show you great things that you do not know. And it's important that you know that. I have a dear friend that's just told me just today that a few weeks ago, a few more, uh, uh, several months ago really, he had a massive heart attack. 
he went to the hospital and the doctors uh, went ahead and did some surgery but they said afterward they said we didn't tell you but when you came in here and we examined your heart we could not understand how you were still alive your heart was so massively uh, destroyed to the point of beating rhythm and and in the right condition that it was impossible for you to be alive but you've lived through it and the and my friend said, I'm a preacher, and I believe in God, and I believe in the Word, and I prayed when I came in here, and the Lord has heard me and showed me great and mighty things. And so we know that God will help us. And by the way, he came by to see me today, and he's looking good and he's feeling good. Amen. So we need to recognize that God still performs miracles. He still walks with his people. <clears throat> He still delivers us and honors us when we please Him and seek to honor Him. And <clears throat> when we do that, then He'll do the, His part. Over finally in the book of John, in the 15th chapter of John, verse 7, Jesus said, If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Now He's saying this is a promise that He gives to all of us who believe in Him who believe the Bible, who seek by faith to walk in, in faith and to humble ourselves before Him, to love the Lord and love His people, to seek to find and follow Him when it seems so difficult at times. He said, if you abide in me, and you abide in Jesus by believing in Him, by talking to Him, oh, you abide in Him by reading His Word. You abide in Him by sharing Him with others. And so, if you abide in me and I abide in you, then you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done. And I praise God. I pray God for you. If you're praying for something right now, dear friend, keep praying, believing it's going to happen. And believe it to the point where you're willing to live the life that will please God, and He will honor you, and He will answer your prayer. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Keep on going, Christian. God is a God, is a prayer answering God, and He loves you very much. I praise God. I praise God for that. And we need to know that He's there all the time, and He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Guiding by Him, you're going the right direction. Going with Him, you're going the right way. Look up and keep going. Don't look back, but look up and don't give up. Seek always the way of the Lord, and it's the way of truth. Seek Him, and you'll find peace. You'll find the answer. Oh, praise the Lord. He loves you very much, and I love you. Be strong in the Lord, in the power of His might. And He will sing you through and lead you to the light. Amen. If you need to pray a prayer and ask Him to forgive you and come in your heart as a Christian, you need to pray and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins upon the cross at Calvary. I believe he rose again, and I believe he's coming back. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. Find you a good church. Worship God with his people. And know that God loves you, and he's going to be with you and lead you all the way, and he will hear and answer your prayers. Praise the Lord. Oh, <clears throat> until then, my heart will keep on singing. Until then, with joy I carry on. Until my eyes behold my Savior. Until the day God calls me home. My heart is joyful when I pause to remember. This heartache is but a stepping stone. Oh, praise the Lord along the way that's winding always upward. Oh, this troubled world is not my final home. But until then, my heart will keep on singing. Until then, my joy will carry on. 
until the day my eyes behold my Savior. Until the day God calls me home. Amen and amen. God bless you. Keep you always close to him. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.